Hello, everybody. Welcome to Extreme Shades Live Window Tinting. Hope everybody's having a grand day. Apparently, says I have one Facebook watcher. Mm, not sure if all of my audio is coming through appropriately. Hopefully, it is. That is. Test. See if that works. Nope. Mm. Of course it's not. Just a second, figure out what's going on with my audio, why it's not playing in my ear hole. Because I'm online, if it goes through this time. coming through just not where I need it coming through oh yeah yeah I'll make sure options Evans test tone t shirts. Hey, what up? What's up, T Town? Give me just a second, buddy. I'm having some uh, audio. All right, tell me if you hear this test, E-Town. Hopefully not. We got Christina. Wait, wait, wait. Over here. Christina in the house today. What's up, Shady? Cool. So everything's working appropriately. Let's go ahead and do the intro. Again, if you're looking for an awesome uh, animation for your logo, good. Hit up uh, Josh Welch with Mix Flix Media. He's currently working on his website, but he is on Facebook, Mix Flix Media on Facebook. Throw this guy on. Here's the intro. Yes, sir, it is. Put my handy dandy mic on. Share this to some of the tent groups. Get some people in here talking, chilling. Mm 
maybe share no, no, to share the group uh so we've done a couple of sets of front doors uh we got this honda accord i think there's another set of front doors that's supposed to be here at some point and then another another uh i think it's another full car this afternoon um i could be wrong but maybe yeah let me uh let me share this to some of the groups copy post copy paste post copy paste post copy paste post some of them probably won't get approved until later tonight just weird but it's okay if you're watching after the fact cool paste mm -hmm. yeah shared it in some groups We got Christina in there working on the quarter window already. <clears throat> All right, is audio good? My vocals and the music, everybody can hear everything good, right? <clears throat> Fairly certain this is gonna be a door panel removal. Yep, show sure enough. Okay. Got our handy dandy DSP, dry shrink prep. Thank you, Hunter Lloyd, for sending that to me, sir. Um, give me a minute. I don't need copyright infringement mess going on. Turn that down. Perfect. I'm gonna give this back window a rubbing. Oh, yeah. What's up? Everybody having a good day? Shady, what you working on? T-Town? What you working on, bud? up rgc business as well sir business as well i got six flat glass or five five or six flat glass jobs lined up for the next couple of weeks uh, i was supposed to go do one yesterday ended up having to cancel it because fedex nice shady heck yeah nice i'm loving it i'm loving i'm loving the film i'm loving the product i'm loving how clear it is um the camaraderie with the other dealers um it's just it's it's been really nice really nice uh where's my blade at Yeah, they, they good old fed up, son. Let me tell you. I was supposed to go get those two rolls of... Uh... <laughs> cough, cough, Dave. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to go get... I was supposed to get those two rolls of Cool View, uh, Tie Night 35. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm still still installing some Cool View flat glass films. Especially this one. This one has actually been scheduled for... A little while and the guy called me and was like hey don't order to film yet i'll let you know when i'm ready to do it so i didn't order to film um and then he called me and was like hey can we do it uh tuesday and i was like yeah i'll just you know i'll order i'll overnight the film um 
and I'll have it Tuesday morning. We can come out and knock it out. And he was like, okay, cool. So had the film overnighted. Um, people at cool views like, yeah, you'll have it tomorrow by before 12 for sure. But we clicked the, the 10 AM delivery. Well, 10 AM come around, no delivery. 12 o'clock come around, no delivery. 4.30 come around, I, I called. Yeah, I, I called Coolview and I was like, hey, it's, it's 4.30. I haven't seen the film. Uh, it was supposed to have been here before 12. What's going on? They looked it up and she was like, yeah, it's showing that it's sit just sitting in Memphis, Tennessee right now. And I was like, yeah, that's a long ways away from me. So, called the customer, was like, hey, let's reschedule. So, we rescheduled for next week. Uh, cool View helped me out and took the, the overnight shipping cost off. I'll have the film showed up a little while ago today. And I'm installing it next week. And then I've got a golf, golf place that I have to do some exterior blackout and then interior uh, dual reflective five. And then I've got, uh, what else? I've got, I've got quite a bit of flight glass. Um, just, I don't remember it all. It's actually funny, the place where the golf, it's basically a golf simulator um when i go there i'm going to be measuring the windows that's of a building right beside of it for another company and uh, they want me to tint their windows as well that way everything matches their i3 shrinking like butter Look at that, I love it. Laying, laying I3 ceramic on the back sides and then doing a 5% sun strip. For my window tenders, somebody said something about the other day. Um, they posted on one of the groups and they were like, why do we even card windows? Uh, this is Autobahn, Autobahn performance film. Uh, no. Nice shading. Uh, T-Town, it's, it's a little more expensive. Um, but what you're getting is, is to me in a nutshell, a whole lot more. Um, so, I mean, it's, it, to me, it's almost worth its weight in, in gold. Uh, because again, you're getting a camaraderie of dealers that I can reach out to at any given point and say, hey, I need some help. Uh, and they would jump on board and come help me out, right? Not that anybody wouldn't, but the fact that now I've got, you know, a, a, a full film family behind me, except DW, you know, I've, I've got that support. Um, the dealer locator, the... Uh, everything the Autobahn has to offer really um, the territories um, it, you know it is a little bit more expensive but it is what it is like to me it's still a good film hey window, window tinting line thanks for stopping shaver daver Um, but it's not much of a difference, uh, when, when you really look at it, um, yes, please. If you're watching on Facebook, I appreciate you coming to hang out. Uh, if you would switch over to the YouTube channel, 
window tinting or excuse me extreme shades window tinting and hit the like button and hit subscribe if you don't subscribe to the channel that way you can get notifications when i go live i might have to take those door panels off no yeah it's a full door panel removal I mean, unless you want to two-stage it but that's totally up to you <laughs> well so derek i'm i was having some issues with restream which is the program that i use to force the video out um and i didn't re-up restream until after i had started the stream and that's why it didn't uh it didn't do a notification it should now i don't know if you remember me talking about it last week and week before last uh, where multi-streaming, it was saying that Facebook was offline and YouTube was offline, even though it was still showing uh, that I was streaming live. Um, it was really weird. I finally got that figured out a while ago. Um, so, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't make fun of my cabinet here. Everybody say hey to Hudson and Tabitha. Tabitha's got some medical stuff going on. She's chilling on the chair, answering phones doing all the things to help out other than tinning windows. Christina has already knocked out the quarters and they look fantabulous. Let's see. <laughs> ah, man. That sounds like fun, bro. <laughs> All right. It's color time. Just kidding. For the customers that might be watching this video now or later, uh, here at Extreme Shades, we do not cut on glass unless we absolutely have to. Uh, but other than that, even then, we don't even try to do that <clears throat> because there's ways around it. So we mark on the tent where we need to cut it. We put it on our big old piece of glass that's on the wall, cut it on that. That way uh, we mess up our glass and not yours. <laughs> not saying that all glass gets messed up when it gets cut on. But I did my Ford Transit windshield replacement yesterday. And with a brand new blade, fresh click, softly cutting, I still cut into the glass just because I was in a hurry and really didn't care if I cut into my personal glass. So, Jason, everybody say hey to Jason. Jason is the Tenter Tuesday Live commenter <laughs> thanks for joining jason good live stream last night sir for those of you that don't know jason does a live stream every tuesday night on youtube you can find his channel by going to youtube and typing in tinter tuesday Hit the red subscribe button, watch some of his previous videos, hit the like button, change the algorithm on YouTube to help him out. And while you're at it, go to Extreme Shades Window Tinting on YouTube, hit the red subscribe button, like us, follow us, watch some previous videos, hit the like button to change the algorithm for us as well. <laughs> Tinter tarts. <laughs> Tinter tarts. So, for those of you that missed Jason's live video last night, uh, there was a conversation about what was his favorite Pop Tart. <laughs> and somehow we got on the conversation of Pop Tarts. And all the goodness about pop tarts we we tried to tell him to do a pop tart giveaway 
Pop-Tart is one of those comforting foods. And Tabitha is now calling them Tinter Tarts. Wow. Hopefully they don't give you the tinner farts. Me too, DW. Tinner tarts is gonna be my, my new breakfast meal every day. Let's see what Jason said. Oh, he did the face palm. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, well, I need to take these door panels off, and I do not remember how. Not on this. I don't know this is going to be different than the. Uh, this one's going to be different, so it's a 2015 two door Honda Accord door panel removal. <laughs> oh me that's good i love it speaking of do i have any pop tarts here no we had to throw them all out oh terrible they were old hot pocket my favorite hot pocket Is it jumpy on y'all? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> That's awesome, Jason. Who was it? Uh, who delivered that? <clears throat> That's got me curious. Now, it wasn't me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> if I had thought about it, it would have been me. But I, I didn't. I wasn't on my P's and Q's last night, apparently, because I didn't send them to you. <laughs> uh. Hey, can I have one of my big chairs? Yeah, I don't know what just happened just now. So my my favorite hot pocket. Sorry. So favorite hot pocket is um uh the pizza one. You know what I'm talking about? I know you know what I'm talking about. That's going to be my favorite. What's that say? Chad's installer, Tommy. Oh. <laughs> That's who sent the... Uh... That's who sent the what you call it it's to jason is it under this it is under this i bet let's look uh, yep screw right there yeah i like i like the pepperoni ones they're good to me uh drill i had it earlier what do i do with it oh it's in the back back here I don't know what happened to the internet just a few minutes ago. That was weird. I'm back 
here. <laughs> I like it. I'm in Smithfield, North Carolina. T-Town, you think there's one behind that? There. Man, I really don't want to take that off. I am in Smithfield, North Carolina. Oh, da -da 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 -da. that one see what this guy says on YouTube gotta love YouTube oh yeah that's right that one there wait where's it at I don't see it any good taco places <laughs> there's a couple of decent taco places around Couple of good taco places. We've got we've got a couple of uh, taco trailers. Where is that? That's right there. How did it come out? Well, no. From what I've seen just now, looks like there's a, a plastic panel here that that does come off. It's not the silver trim. Okay. Right there. This guy. Right here. Yep. Yep. Woo. Nice. Those are always the best. Just kidding. Should be sure there's one back there. Was there one up top to me? Oh, there's another thing there. Okay. Is it still breaking up? Hey, come back here. In there. Got it. Whoa. Ha ha. that door panel out is the video still breaking up is it breaking up for everybody else hopefully not my audio not isn't going crazy again like it did while ago which is really weird Well, I can't remember on this door panel, like how bad it was. This ain't not really too bad. It's just a lot of steps. Two screws behind the open handle, one screw behind the pull handle. That one. One there. One there. <laughs> okay. One there. 
and then the one right here so there you have a couple of screws in a couple of different places pull your uh, pins out bingo another one down here so a lot of people are like man why do you pull door panels why do you pull window sweeps well I only pull door panels if I absolutely have to and this is one of those ones that I really want to uh, it's an older car um, less less possibilities of contamination bottom loading um and for those of, that don't know what bottom loading is so there's there's a couple ways that you can install window tent and basically a lot of people do what's called two staging which is where when they peel their their liner there's a clear film here they'll peel it to halfway the window they will install the top piece squeegee it roll the window up pull the rest of the liner off and then like have to fold it up under and tuck it behind the sweep and then bottom loading you actually pull the liner completely off when you pull the liner completely off and you spray your film you actually install the bottom front corner first and kind of rock it in um christine is cur currently working my wife is currently working on the uh, door over there when she gets to the part of installation I'll bring the camera over there and y'all can watch her install Kevin. Christine has been tending for about eh, for three, four years, around four years, five years, something like that. Right? About four or five years. How long have you been tending? About four or five years. What's your favorite thing to tent? Tabitha. <laughs> Tabitha asked. <laughs> uh, toolbox. Yeah, but she can't hear them. I guess she could if she put the earpiece in. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for the back window install. I think she's over there doing the final squeegee. I will come over there in just a second. And y'all can watch her install. Oh, DW wants to know what is your least favorite car to tent? <laughs> she said a dirty one. <laughs> hey, does anybody know where the uh, clay bar is? Huh? Uh, Customers vehicles. <laughs> huh? Uh, no, Shady Shady J said customers vehicles. He don't he don't like tinning. <laughs> uh, man, thank y'all so much for coming on the show. We did have twelve people watching on uh, YouTube a while ago. So here we go. Watch watch what she does. Let's go, Christine. Uh, I'm gonna wet the window tent. As Shady does, she just wet her tents. She's going to grab that film. Well, she's going to try to do it all prim and proper, not grabbing the grabbing the adhesive side. And then she's going to load that front corner in. Yep. And slowly drop the film down which is why it's called bottom loading. And then she's gonna bring that film back and forth and down until she gets that top edge lined up. To her liking. Yeah, pretty good pattern. And that's how she installs it. And then she's going to 
And she's gonna squeegee it out. Oh, you need some water. There you go. Fits like a glove. Oh, God. I thought it was off track. Ah! Mint. So there might be some fingers in this one. That's okay. We'll shrink them on the window. It's just a couple of windows to do that on. No problem. Um, I don't shrink a whole lot on the outside unless I absolutely know it's going to need shrinking. Uh, this one I couldn't remember. So, But I knew with the way the windows are curved, they're not super duper curved to where... It's gonna need a lot of shrink. I just need to find a card so that I can shrink it for her. Professional. Professional. We finally got all the boxes switched over to Autobahn. Here we go. A little shrink shrink. A little tink tink. There go. Roll it up, squeezes it out, and I'll shrink them. Here's your chair. The windows look good though. The color and the clarity of this i3 film is is phenomenal. To be such a, a high infrared heat rejecting film, uh, most of the time you get what's called low angle haze. Uh, while she's finishing that, I'm going to change the song because I do not like it. Says I haven't dropped any frames. Maybe it was just my CPU usage. But she don't really trust herself with a heat gun on the inside, so sometimes I don't either. Working, working all them fingers down. I got a card. Give her a little bit of heat there. So one of the keys to shrinking on the inside, if you don't do it. Like if, if you if you find that you need to shrink on the inside, keep the keep the top portion of that door panel a little wet, uh, because now the hot air from the heat gun has to diminish that water before it will actually burn anything on a panel. So and that looks pretty doggone good. Uh oh. Yes, always keep the panel wet. It does happen. We try not to let it happen. I'm gonna crawl my big old self in this back seat. Oh, should have made her do the back one though. Hey, can I get a towel, please? Uh, like a big towel. Oh. We got some weird stuff going on back here. Let me get the, uh, the adhesive remover, please. I have sweat running down in my eyes already. Can you tell if that's dirt or glue on the inside of this thing? Can I get the adhesive remover? Mm -hmm. And it looks like glue. Only at the bottom, though. It's weird. Yeah, it used to be thin, and there's some some remnants up top too. No problem. No problem. We got stuff that'll eat that right off. We're a little spray down there at the bottom. Cool. 
Sorry about the weird camera angles. It's one thing I do need to order is a the the mod. Um, a couple more things, please. I need a bulldozer and then a the gray the gray scrubby handle. Yeah, I need to get the the camera mod. I can't remember the lens mod thing. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but basically it makes it so that when I turn my head and the camera turns like that for y'all, it'll actually, it'll actually keep, uh, it'll keep it a flat angle. Um, right now I'm really digging the ATR solution. Um, to me, the smell isn't as bad as some of the other ones that I've tried. Um, and it, it eats the crap out of pieces, so. And I haven't seen it mess up any plastic panels. I have tried some adhesive removers that has like discolored plastic panels. So, there's also that. that out <sighs> yep nope I'm on tenant in it see what happens hope and pray for the best <laughs> and then if it doesn't i'll come back and hand cut it across and then i will put some uh some black vinyl on the inside i do keep black vinyl on hand for two reasons one because i do vinyl stickers Yep. Wait, you said ATR did that? <laughs> ATR. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't experienced that. Not saying it, I mean, it is an adhesive remover, so I mean, there's that. Um, and I mean, it, it could be how you sprayed it. I mean, you, I, don't, I don't know, I try to, I try to limit the spraying of it, not saying that you did, but um, I haven't had any issues with it, doing anything like that. Again, I'm not saying that it could not happen, because I know it could, anything is possible. This is life we're talking about. <laughs> this still might turn white, but I mean, at the end of the day, as long as it sticks up there, I'll be fine with it because they're dots. There's nothing really I can do about it. You do some black one on the outside, get rid of it completely. Not doing all that though. Biggest thing is make sure I got all that glue off down at the bottom down there. And it does appear to be gone. My window is clean. We'll give it a little spray here. Come across. A little spray there.
Oh, coming out. Move it or lose it. All right. Woo. This old reverse roll. Oh, come back here. Somebody said something about tacos earlier. We can't have tacos today. It's not Tuesday. What do we have on Wednesdays? What should we call Wednesdays? It's kind of like Taco Tuesday. What should we have? Yes, it's a tight fit. Get all the water we need. Chili dog. We had lunch already, so we had uh, firehouse subs. Y'all familiar with that? <laughs> Tacos every day. I like it. <sighs> Wagyu? Yeah, I like it. What? Oh. <sighs> oh, I'm spraying the a sprayer. <sighs> So being that those dots are up there, I don't want to fully lay this thing out. Come on. Right. Yeah, we've already had lunch. We didn't want nobody getting hangry up in here. A little bit more. A little bit of a light gap in this top corner on this side. I like up there. Film shifted on us a little bit. All good though. Get it up in there. It, it might cause a problem. We'll see. Hey, can I borrow your dehydro, please? I don't want to use this metal one. Look at Christina over there shrinking roll down window. Look at it. The face of confidence right there, guys. Man, if you can ever get reverse rolling down, you will, uh, you'll love it, I'm telling you. 
definitely definitely practice man don't give up on it because like i'm telling you it's it makes installing so much easier it really does um i won't i mean i can still do a frankie matter of fact back in december whenever i had my cars and coffee event um mike powell said something about oh you're not going you're not going to reverse roll it or not, you're not going to frankenstein it and i was like okay sure threw it right in there right <clears throat> i mean it's just to me reverse rolling Reverse roll the world. All right, so. Let you guys in on a little secret. So y'all notice I have not squeegeed this up here yet, right? Here's why. We'll heat it up on one side, jump in the car with, if I can find it, it might be in my pocket. It is. Ah. I'm using a felt wrapped nylon card. And I have pushed really, really hard to get as much of the slip out. A couple of small little fingers at the top but all in all looks really really good Oh, and I'm working everything out, okay? So I keep my card angled towards the side that I'm working towards. That way, being that it's got defrost lines, I'm, those, I got those working against me too, right? And then once I get it all laid out, I'll go back over it with a little more pressure. All the way across it. Again, I got one finger right there. But other than that, see it lays out pretty smoothly. The key is, is heating the glass up using something soft enough that will go in between the glass and the dots to make that little bit of adhesive grab hold of the glass that's in between those dots. And it, it, it lays out awesome. Could it fall? Absolutely. Chances of falling? 
I'd probably say there's about a 30% chance now of it falling because I, using something like this with aggressive heat allows that adhesive to grab and do its job. Um, but I normally, like I'll leave that for the last part of the window that I do. Um, this way, it's still a little wet up there from the original slip because I didn't do any hard carding or dehydroblading or anything like that. But it also allows it, you know, it, it that that leaving that slip solution behind it, it allows the film to float as I'm squeegeeing it. Um, that to me has been one of the best methods when I have a window with a full dot matrix at the top. Um, so we're going to check this roll down window over here. You already shrunk it. It's good. It's good. Look at it. Boy. You just thought Hoss tinted that window. Oh, wait. A Hoss did tint it. Christina Hoss Evans. Cool. So we got the sun strip left to do. Um, I had a. Yeah, got a little finger down there at the bottom. I got my fingers up at the top. Now here, being that I've already put the torch on the outside, I don't want to try to heat up the outside again, not to mention the fact I got a couple of longer size fingers at the top that I need to get rid of. I'm gonna go inside with the heat gun. Not that I like doing it. Sometimes that's what it calls for. I got some slip solution right there, right there. I need to get rid of let that top piece dry out a little bit before I go in there with the heat gun. Oh, yep. Yeah. All the fingers down at the bottom that I needed to get out. All right. Much better. Much better. Cool. Gonna put door panels back in. Throw the sun strip on, which we gotta cut it out. got some watchers in here oh we got seven we got seven thanks for hanging out guys especially if you're on youtube appreciate you have a little bit of diet do i'm sorry diet yeah diet do does not sponsor extreme shades or these videos Technically speaking, the only people that sponsor these videos is Tinter Brand. So, that being said, Tinter Brand, www.tinterbrand.com. If you like to have Tinter gear, like the shirt that I was wearing, uh, blah, blah, this one. This is one of, one of 50 that uh, Jason brought out. 
It's got the pinup girl on a squeegee and it says, uh, what is it? We do it better in your back seat. Uh, and it's got the tenor brand logo. You really can't see it cause I've worn the snot out of this shirt. Um, and then on one sleeve, it's got tenor brand, uh, the tenor Tuesday old logo, limited edition. And then on this side, it's got tent whiz and entertainment. Uh, but you can go to tenorbrand.com. Awesome, Derek. Uh, but you can go to tenorbrand.com, click on some apparel, some other things that he's got. He's got dash towels. Uh, you can get custom stuff where it's got your business logo on it or your name on it or whatever you want on it, really. Um, but whenever you select your stuff and you put it in your shopping cart, use slinging hoss, all lowercase, slinging hoss as your discount code and get 10% off of your purchase. So after this live video, go to tenorbrand.com and order some stuff and use that discount code. I need measuring tape. Huh? Buy the film. Buy the film. Ah, yes. Thank you. going to be a one piece sun script five inch one Put the roll in there. Well, what are you doing with your life? Do, 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 do. either come on We are powered by TentWiz. TentWiz is the best CRM in window tent. <clears throat> in the window tinting industry, it's made for tenors by window tenors. Uh, so if you are a window tenor with a shop, or if you don't have a shop, um, it's worth the $100 a month that you pay for uh, to keep everything in one place, as far as proposals, invoices, customers, uh, record management. It's, it's amazing. If you don't have TentWiz, you can go to tentwiz.com and try it out for 30 days. No credit card necessary. You just type in your name, build your account. If you need help, I am a expert on the product. I've used it every day in my shop, even on Sundays, <clears throat> for like the last three years. Um, I, I won't own a tent shop without it. Well, we'll put it that way. Let's look at this here, rear view mirror. 
I know it comes out, I just don't know how. Is there a pick over there? I love YouTube. This is. Yes, it does. What is this? 2015 Honda Accord rear view mirror replacement. This uh, dash towel is actually supplied by Tinterbrand. It's got my logo on it. <laughs> Fun times. It's very big, covers the whole dash and then some. There's a cover that has to come off. Oh, pretty simple. Got to figure out how that cover comes down. Cause he definitely just uh, pulled down on it. It fell. <laughs> Aha. You ain't got to take the plastic cover off. So there is a there's a little metal uh, pin there. I just put my hook tool directly underneath it and pulled down a little bit and pulled down with the hook tool and out and it popped right out. Beautimus. Yeah, because I think I might have to cut that out. We'll cut it out on the car. A biggie. Oh. Woo. You already got it like Beautimus. Look, she's all right. she's on the roll. Got it prepped. Hey, grab that pick tool, please. No. Yep. Yep. Hold on, let me go up some. Yep. You got an AS1 line on that side? Oh, can bring it into your AS1 line. The arrow don't count. <laughs> oh, well, that was too short. Huh? Oh. Maybe it is the arrow. The arrow's on both sides, so there's that. Technically, it's the arrow, I guess. To be honest, I haven't had that clarified, so we'll bring it to the arrow just to be safe. Fold that out, and I'll trim that once I install it, once we squeegee it. All right, do this right here. Uh -huh. There it is. The same thing with this side. I'm back here. I'm back here. Your seat's in the way. Yeah. 
see if I can make it in the bucket. Nope. Sure didn't. Wow, what a piece of tent. Ah, there we go. Easy, 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 easy. Why did I switch films? Uh, I felt like with Flex Films, I had plateaued in my business. Um, not because of what they have to offer. as far as like with flex films, but with Autobahn, they offer a slew amount more of things. Um, I gotta redo that. The glue on the driver's side from the previous oil chain sticker. But yeah, there's there's a whole lot more uh, with Autobahn, things that I get from Autobahn, things that I can get, the availability of things, uh, the knowledge about certain products that they sell, um, the exclusivityness, I guess that's a word, I don't know if that's a word, it may not be a word, um, but yeah. They just, they, they offer a, a slew of things uh, that I wanted to start offering in my business. And it's always good to be a part of something bigger than yourself. And plateauing at where I was at, I really didn't feel like I was in anything bigger than myself. Nothing against Ralph, nothing against his film. He has really good film. Um, customer service was good. So, yeah. There, there's definitely more to it than that, DW. Um, there's some things that I won't speak of on a live video. Um, happy to talk to you in private. Is it you good now? Uh, I'm gonna do one thing. Cause I know where about it was. But again, like I said, nothing Nothing against Ralph or his products. Uh, his products are great. Oh, the word. 
<laughs> I see what you're saying now. But it's, it's all good. That's why I switched. Um, I'm enjoying it. Yep. At the end of the day, I think everybody needs to do what everybody thinks they need to do. I was thinking that was trash for a second there. Got a new bug? Ooh. Anyways, everybody needs to do what they need to do, what they think they need to do, because at the end of the day, they're going to do it anyways, right? I got this blade. Tent whiz for the win. Bring a little shade to your life. Shout out to Wagon Guy for making these for Eric with Tent Whiz. They are some awesome blades for an awesome company. Yep. <laughs> For an awesome person. Christina won this. Look at her. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forgot to cut something out, Christina. <laughs> Borrow your blade again. That does it. We're gonna do some final thoughts. She finishes. We got a little. You missed it. Just like right there. Yep. Got it. Do some thoughts. Some talks. If y'all want to. We've been at it for an hour and 21 minutes. Looks like we got nine people watching. I'm gonna take the GoPro off my head. over to this oh awesome. I am very sweaty now especially after being cooped up in that back window for a little while anything you want to chat about talk about ask about before I shut this bad boy down anybody anything Hello. Hello. What is that? How did it go away? Um, me personally, if I have a light gap, uh, if I have a light gap. <laughs> I either try to pull it down, redo it, relay it so that the light gap is covered. Um, the only time I've really ever used a film opaque uh, opaquer is when these black uh, black edges, the dotted edges, <coughs> um,
Yeah, we're getting ready to leave in just a minute. We, we're chatting for a second. Messing up heads. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the film of Haker is best, in my opinion, used whenever you do, like, let's say somebody has to cut on the inside of a glass where they have the black line and you kind of cut into it. If you'll take that black opaque pen and mark it, go. Uh, it covers that covers that black light gap or white light gap at that point um but as far as like light gaps on quarter windows back windows roll down windows sun strips um just, just pull it back and try to resituate it so that it covers or redo it at, at the end of the day it's nobody really wants anybody marking up their car with with the paint pen pretty much um <laughs> In my opinion um yep yeah so i mean to do what you got to do i mean obviously make it look good um I definitely, I definitely agree. What's up, Johnny Blades? Derek? So I, I kind of agree with that. Uh, not having one different than not using it. Um, I have an opaker pen. Uh, literally, the only time I'd ever, I have ever used it is from where uh, somebody has tinted a window and it come in and it was cut um, showing it to the customer look I can bring bring this black uh, fake pin and mark it so that it, it uh, that little light gap isn't showing up no more um, but I mean I'd rather have it and not use it than need it and not have it we'll say that um, oh, got in the, in the view of that. It's, uh, definitely can be a good thing to, good thing to have on hand, just in case. Guys, if that's going to be it, I think it was a good video. I think we had some good discussion, good talk. Makes sense. That makes sense. I'd probably still, probably still uh, redo it. <laughs> yep. True story. Well, guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out. If you're watching on Facebook, go to the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, watch some other videos, uh, get the watch count up. Um, basically, if you haven't watched any of my previous shows, um, or not shows, more live videos, um, go, if you like the, like the YouTube channel and you subscribe to it, and all my videos gets more viewers, more view time, um, I will be able to get, uh, what is it called basically where i get paid to be on youtube yeah that's weird dw that's weird um but yeah like and subscribe to the youtube channel um this way my youtube channel can get monetized and I will be able to give back uh, to the window film community uh, doing giveaways, whether it be a gift card for something, whether it be, you know, a partial roll of film, maybe it be a tank. Uh, as some of you know, I've been known to give away tanks left and right. 
Um, you know, I, I, basically, I'm doing this channel so that I can build up to get it monetized. That way, I can take those funds and let YouTube, while I'm doing something that I love, be able to give back to you guys. So share the word, tell your friends, tell your family members. They don't even have to be window tenders. I don't care. Um, I mean, we, we had discussions about pop tarts and, and hot pockets earlier. We can talk about anything on the live stream. So <clears throat> that said, tell your friends, tell your family, go to YouTube channel. It's window extreme shades, window tinting on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, like all the videos. Preferably all of them. You don't have to watch them. Just hit all the like videos. That way it changes the uh, uh, the algorithm of YouTube. So that makes sense, DW. But again, I appreciate you guys. Ah, bro. You. You're more than welcome to check. You can come check if you want. It's only a six hour drive. Come check, Derek. Any car that's in my parking lot, check it. But anyways, see you guys. Until next time. Let's get shaded. <laughs>